Hello, everybody, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. I hope everyone's having a really great time, whether you're just with your immediate family or whether you were able to get together with a couple other um, members of your family in a safe way during this truly incredible time that we're all living in. Uh, my name is John Nocklinger. I am the founder and head coach of Divorce Shield. Thank you so much for joining us. You're here on Facebook Live Fridays. Obviously, today is not Friday. Today is Wednesday, but um, Friday is uh, Christmas Day, and I'm going to be spending time with my family and not doing this video. So today is when you're getting this video. So our theme this week has been the holidays and divorce two things that really don't mix, right? But really talking about what the intersection is between the two, what you need to think about, and most importantly, how it should impact the decisions you make going forward. So a very important concept that I tackled a lot as a divorce attorney was, should you wait until after the holidays to actually start the divorce process. Now, there's a lot of people out there, and you might be one of them, that's always thinking, oh, well, I'll wait until after the holidays are over, or I'll wait until you know after my birthday, or I'll wait until after the kid's school year is over, or I'm gonna wait until after their summer vacation and the kids go back to school, or I'm gonna wait till after Thanksgiving. So by the time you've done all that waiting, you're done. You, you've already gone a whole year a year of your life you're never getting back. So at its core, the first sort of thing that you need to think about is, do you wanna be divorced? Do you? I mean, that's not something I can tell you. It's not something anybody can tell you. It's something that you know. And I would just remind you that you only live once. If you only live once, why be miserable? And even if you're not miserable, why be unhappy? Or why not be in a position where you could find something that is makes you happier? Regardless, you decide whether or not you want to get divorced. All right. Now that's what I'm talking about here is starting the legal process. You know, people delay starting it because they're waiting for something. But what I'm talking to you about is not the legal process, right? It's preparing for the legal process. It's planning for the legal process. And in that respect, there is no better time to start preparing if you think divorce might be occurring than right now over the holidays. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about why that is. Now, we're at the end of the year. So you've gone a whole year and um, this year of 2020 has been truly remarkable in a lot of different ways. I hope everyone stayed healthy, but you're at the end of the year. So you're in a great position to really look at your finances and look at your finances going into next year. And as you guys know, one part of divorce preparation really revolves around your money and protecting it and learning the step-by-step -step things you can do to protect as much of your money as possible. The end of the year is a great time because now you have a full year of information that you can kind of put together and make some decisions and start making some changes. It's also just an incredible time to spend time with your kids. You know, over the holidays, your kids are out of school. Hopefully you're taking some time off of work. What better time to spend time with your kids? What better time to not let your wife be the one that goes out and buys the Christmas presents for the kids where you're just as surprised as the kids are on Christmas morning about what it is they're getting? Let's be honest, guys, that's a lot of you, right? So, you know, Christmas is a great time to, uh, you know, try to be more active with your kids, be a more active parent, be a more active father. It's a great, great opportunity. If it's snowing outside, get your butt outside with the kids, play with them, make a snowman, go down the, sle the sleigh. You know, if you want to start preparing for divorce, you gotta do it now. You got to. Waiting is not an option. 
you might wait until January to start the divorce, the legal process, but that means you got to start now if you want to prepare and plan so that you can get the best possible outcome. Now, I've told you guys before, I can't guarantee any particular outcome. All I can tell you is that I have divorced over 700 men. And because of that, I have seen what they should have done in the weeks and months leading up to divorce that would have helped get them a much better result. It's not rocket science, but it is specific and it is proven. All right. It is proven that if you do certain things, you have a better chance of getting a better outcome. Not a 100% chance and not the best outcome, but you've got a better chance. And that's all we're talking about here, guys. Put yourself in a better position. What better, what better way to start a divorce than to walk in with your head held high and say, listen, here are my facts. They're great. But over the holidays, I know it's going to be hard. It's hard to think about divorce when you're around family. And more than that, although I don't know how many of you are having big family gatherings this holiday season, you're around people that are going to stress you out. Let's be honest your family will stress you out. Everyone's family stresses them out. So the problems that you're having with your wife are gonna be exacerbated by all of that, by just the stress of the whole thing. So really take three steps back and start thinking about, okay, should I at least start thinking about what I need to be doing? It might sound dirty doing it during the holidays, but really it's a great time. Maybe you've taken some time off of work. Your stress level, maybe in that respect is down. You can sort of think about things a little bit more. Maybe you've got some time to actually watch videos and do things. Be a great time for you to check out the Divorce Preparation Bootcamp where you can start going through the lessons, writing down step-by-step -step exactly what you need to be doing, going back and re-listening to the lessons reading the, uh, the PowerPoint slides that come with it, rereading the transcript, looking at the worksheets. And if you really need help, getting me involved, let's chat one-on-one. Whatever it takes, guys, I'm here to make sure that you're taking the right steps so that you don't get screwed. I don't want you to get screwed. I don't want you to get screwed when I know there's things you can do to help you not get screwed. But you've got to be the one to do it. You've got to be the one to take that first step. You've got to be the one to say, yes, please help me. I need help. You've got to make that decision. And what better time right now? While the Divorce Preparation Boot Camp is having an incredible holiday offer. I mean, we've discounted it so much because I want no one to start, or I want nobody to wait until after the holidays are over. There's no waiting, guys. No waiting. You are going to make a decision, and you're going to do it now. If divorce is something you've been thinking about, or your wife's told you she wants to get divorced, you are going to click the link and you're gonna check out Divorce Preparation Academy. I'm sorry, boot camp. <laughs> Divorce Preparation Boot Camp. We used to call it Divorce Preparation Academy, but now it's a boot camp because it really is a boot camp. You're there to learn really quickly, very intensely, what you need to do to prepare for divorce. Check it out. Don't wait until after the holidays. I'm not telling you start the divorce right now. I'm not telling you let the kids open up their presents on Christmas day and then say, wife, I want a divorce. Don't do that crap, okay? But at least you can start preparing for divorce.
okay? So again, happy holidays. I hope everyone has a magnificent Christmas and a very, very happy new year. And um, I actually will see everybody in January. We're not gonna have a video next week. Um, it just became too difficult to try to figure out when to do it. So no live video next week, but we'll see you in January where um, each week we'll have a great theme for you and we'll have a lot of special guests on our videos and a lot of people that I think uh, are really gonna help a lot of you navigate this, this time period between the time you've decided you wanna get divorced and the time you start the process. All right, I really, um, again, hope everyone has a very happy holidays. Happy New Year, please stay safe. Um, you know, we're nearing the end of this pandemic. There's vaccines in the air. Don't do anything stupid. Um, stay safe. We're almost there and we can all get back to, uh, to normalcy soon, right? Take care. See you soon.